Last time on Total Drama Redemption Island, Justin made deals with both Bierdo and Joe to keep himself in the game longer. Tyler and Wayne are feeling the tension from both sides growing stronger. Eva is trying to get in Sammy's good graces. In the challenge, Bierdo gave up a chance for immunity to let Eva work her magic on Sammy, and she sent Joe to Boney Island and brought Sammy into the spa hotel. Without proper guidance, Tyler and Wayne didn't know who to vote for, and so Bierdo made a plan to throw B under the bus for Brick's elimination, which worked in his favor, eliminating B. Eva asks Sammy about what she likes about Wayne, and Sammy says, here she goes. She knows Wayne is an idiot, but she likes him. Eva says she wasn't gonna chastise her over it, she was just curious. I mean, Axel ain't normal either. Sammy says sorry, she just isn't used to people talking about Wayne without saying something negative about him. Eva says that's messed up for Joe to do, and Sammy says, right? I mean, I'm dating Wayne and you decide to badmouth him in front of me? Eva says she would never do that to her. Sammy says in confessional that Eva has this weird vibe to her, like she's half genuine, half lying. It's a weird feeling. She can't properly gauge her. Sammy asks how far she will bring Bierdo and Justin, and Eva says she doesn't know. The two are too smart for their own good. Nothing but trouble can come from them being teamed up, and Sammy says she agrees entirely. Joe tells Tyler and Wayne good work getting rid of B. Seems like they knew the plan already. Tyler says not really honestly, they were planning on voting out Justin at first because Sammy didn't like him. Joe asks why they care about Sammy's opinion and Wayne says he likes her opinions a lot. Joe says okay, what I meant was why would you listen to her idea of how to get further into the game compared to mine. Tyler says I don't know. Bierdo really made the option easy though when he revealed that B forced a confessional about Brick betraying us. Guess he deserved to go. In confessional, Joe says there's no way B could have done that. I mean, I guess it's possible, but something is off about what Bierdo said. Justin tells Bierdo to lay low this week, and Bierdo asks why. Justin says that he heard from the grapevine that Tyler and Wayne told Joe about last week's elimination. You wouldn't want to go big a second week in a row. For now, let Eva or Joe win, and we'll get rid of whoever doesn't win. Bierdo says that's a smart plan, let the two biggest threats shine. Chris welcomes them to their next challenge. Good news, there will be no elimination this week, but Joe says then immunity doesn't matter, and she leaves as well as Eva and Sammy, who tells Wayne to come on. Wayne says he wants to see what the challenge is at least, and Tyler says not to worry, go spend time with her, he will perform good enough for them both. Chris says that they can't just leave, there's a reward for the winner. Joe asks what kind of reward, and Chris says he can't just say what it is. Joe says then she's leaving, and Chris says fine. Alright, your remaining three will compete in the challenge. You will have to assemble a totem and bring it to me a mile away. Justin asks if that's really it, and Chris says he's saving his actual challenges for elimination episodes. The producers didn't want us ending on 19 episodes, so this is what we had to do. Alright, you all can start assembling. Tyler says he's got this before beginning to assemble it and being confused. Bierdo is doing really well and Justin says to remember, lay low. And Bierdo says, really? He can't win this? Justin says not to let them get any leverage on him. If he's even a tiny bit of a threat, they will have a reason to boot him. Bierdo says, fine, alright, I'll just rest. Justin finishes his totem and says good luck Tyler before running off. Tyler is struggling, but in confessional, Bierdo says that Tyler winning immunity might actually be good for both himself and Justin. Bierdo tells Tyler that he will help him with that and Tyler says that he can't just let him make it for him, that would be cheating. Bierdo says that he can tell him how to make it though and Tyler says he's right. Justin in confessional says that sometimes it's too easy. I mean, I'm running this game now and I'm about to win a reward. Tyler says not to count him out as he runs behind him, and Justin asks how he'd assembled that, and Tyler says he may be smarter than he thought. Justin in confessional says he's definitely not smart. Bierdo must have helped him. He probably wants me to lose to Tyler to make him seem like a bigger threat, but that reward could be something really good. He can't waste this. Justin tells Tyler his shoe is untied, and Tyler says, oh wait, really? Before Justin trips him and he falls to the ground, and Justin gets to the finish line. Chris says that Justin is the winner. Come with me, Justin, I have a reward for you. Tyler says in confessional that he thought him and Justin were cool, and then he used a dirty strategy like that? Maybe he should have gotten rid of Justin. Chris says that Justin will win the first of its kind, Silence Idol. Justin says he's intrigued. He's sure it isn't just a reward to see Chris in one form, and Chris says he is right. This idol will allow you to negate a vote from whoever you choose. Basically, you're silencing them at an elimination ceremony. Wayne asks Tyler how it went, and Tyler says he almost had it, but Justin tripped him and he lost. 
Wayne says that's too bad, and Joe says that maybe they should have gotten rid of Justin actually. Tyler says that's what he was thinking when he fell. Sammy says that she tried to warn them he was a threat, but Eva says that Justin is a minor villain. Her and Joe can beat him any day. Joan Confessional asks what that was about. She has done great avoiding painting a target on her back, and now Eva has ruined it. Wayne says that's a good point. Why haven't they targeted you or Joe? Joe says that she's not that strong, not compared to Eva. Eva says, oh, that's how we're playing now? I flatter you and you throw it back in my face? Joe says that it's just because what you said was idiotic. Tyler tells Wayne that this feels a lot like parents fighting, and Wayne says he knows, right? Sammy tells them to shut up, they can still target Justin and Bierdo, both of them are threats. Eva asks why it's always her team members and never Tyler. Joe says that with all due respect, Tyler and Wayne aren't Bierdo and Justin caliber. Sammy says, and there she goes again, bad mouthing my boyfriend. Come on Wayne, Tyler, let's go somewhere we can just relax. They leave and Eva says good going. Joe in confessional says that she's going to destroy Eva for that little stunt. Pierdo in confessional says that advice Justin gave him already paid off. Pierdo asks Justin what he won and Justin says nothing he has to worry about. Justin in confessional says, do I trust Pierdo? Not really, he doesn't have to know what I have, but the silence idol will be of great use to me. And that's that for episode 15 of Total Drama Redemption Island. What did you think? Question of the week. Do you think Justin made the right call winning the challenge? Why or why not? I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments below and I'll see you all next time on Total Drama Redemption Island.